Speaking of problems the government are giving us, if you're not aware, the government has new procurement rules. Agencies have to award at least 5% of their contracts to Maori businesses. So the makeup of the company, um, so the makeup company uh, Minifees is a Christchurch company. They supply, here's an interesting thing, they supply fake blood and other special effects to the New Zealand Defence Force, and they've done that for a number of years now. A- anyway, they get a letter from Defence asking them to provide proof if Minifees is a Maori-owned business, which it isn't. So Mitch Holding is the co-owner of all of this and is with us. Mitch, good morning to you. Oh, good morning, Mike. Before the letter arrived, were you aware this was a thing? No, no idea at all. When you got the letter, did you think it was a proper letter or did you think someone was having you on? Uh, We weren't sure to start with, but we read it a few times and, um, yeah, we just couldn't believe what was being said in the letter. So what did you say? Did you write back and say, no, we're not? We haven't responded to it because we don't feel it warrants a response. Good on you. Having said that, are you worried you potentially lose your contract? Uh, We may possibly lose our contract. We hope not. We've been supplying the, uh, the army for 12 years now since we bought the business. They've never complained. Uh, they've been happy with our products and our service. Uh, they've no reason to um, go elsewhere. Um, but um, it looks like they may because we're not a Maori business. Are you done annually? Is it an annual contract? Uh, we don't actually have uh, any contracts in writing, but they do all, always order from us. So they just, once a year or whenever, they just say we need X, Y, Z, and that's just the way it's always worked? Yeah, it's about three or four times a year. Right. Do, do they in the letter define what is a Maori business, if you wanted to go down that track and try and des- describe yourself as one? Uh, yes, you have to have uh, at least 50% Maori ownership or a Maori authority is defined by the Inland Revenue Department. So, but what is 50% Maori ownership? Who's Maori? My, my understanding of Maoridom in this country is, is if you want to be Maori, you can claim to be Maori. Same way with the well, electoral roll. If you want to go on the Maori electoral roll, you can go on the Maori electoral roll. Well, we did consider that, Mike, but then that would just be lying to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, I know. I, <laughs> so, so do, you think, do you see this as racist? Uh, yes, I do. And so what are you going to do if they pull the contract or no longer order from you? Because, see, what I'm interested in with your case, say they no longer order from you and you go, how come you're not ordering? They're not going to go because you're not Maori, are they? They wouldn't do that. They'd just say, oh, look, we've decided to go with somebody else, et cetera, et cetera. They wouldn't be, they wouldn't be that straight up and down, would they? Uh, I really don't know. We, we've always had a really good relationship with them. So um, this is why it's come as quite a shock. Um, yeah, we just want to know what we've done wrong to lead us to be discriminated against purely because of my race. Yeah, well, you haven't been discriminated against yet, but if you are... No. Well, well keep it... So you're not going to reply? We're not going to reply to the letter, no. We don't think it warrants a reply. OK, and so, well, well stay in touch with us and uh, let's see what happens. It's, uh, it's been nice to meet and talk with you, and I wish you very wish you well with it all. Mitch Holding, who is the co-owner of Minifees in Christchurch, who supplies the Defence Force... I wonder how many people won't reply. And I do want an answer to that question. When you say Maori ownership, how do you define Maori? I mean, specifically, literally, how do you define it?